Hi everybody, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Happy New Year! And as is tradition, we're going to do something really fun and really quick. Uh, this is just kind of uh, for goofs. But uh, at the beginning of each year for the last, I don't know, four or five years, I've been doing a poll over on Twitter, or X. And uh, today we're going to go through that poll real quick. Um, take a look. Um, I, I, link in the description, we have last year's poll and the new poll for 2025 if you want to participate uh, in this year's poll, this year, last year, yeah, in this year's poll. Uh, so we're going to go through these real quick. I'm just going to do this live so that we, you know, it's just nice and quick. So I'm not going to be taking your questions today uh, because we've got a, a lot of work to do. We are building a new production trailer because we have a big stream coming up. Uh, we're going to, yeah, we'll talk about some of that. All right, but let's start off with uh, the most important question <laughs> was, uh, how many times will SpaceX launch Starship in 2024? Uh, the the options were less than twice because it launched twice in 2023. Uh, we had three or four times. We had five or six, and we had seven. And bingo bongo, uh, four was the magic number. So it looks like the majority of at 58.3% uh, got it right. So good job to those of you uh, that guessed that amount. You nailed it, uh, which is impressive. Uh, what's the furthest milestone we'll see Starship achieve in 2024? Now, this one, uh, people were a little bit more optimistic on. So uh, we, there was no fur further progress, which would have been, uh, you know, at the end of 2023, it, uh, Flight 2 uh, still didn't do a full duration uh, burn of the second stage of Starship upper stage. So we definitely saw progress, as you know. Um, we had re-entry of both stages would probably be the most correct answer here. Uh, they did not do an orbital mission yet in 2024. They did not reuse a booster. So uh, the re-entry of both stages, I mean, that's frankly almost no matter what true, even if it's not a, <laughs> I didn't say a successful re-entry uh, of both stages. They did definitely have successful re-entry of both stages, though. Um, twice. They had a good, even even th three times they had a successful re-entry. Only one successful catch. Um, but Starship made it back down and did its landing burn three times. So that's impressive. And, and, and Super Heavy Booster had three or four successful, you know, re-entries and splash down and one catch. So yeah, definitely, I would definitely say the correct answer is re-entry of both stages. When will ULA launch their Vulcan rocket for the first time? Uh, the correct answer for this was January, 2024. They launched just at the beginning of the new year, uh, successfully on the first Vulcan launch. So that was the correct answer. Most people were pessimistic, a little bit more pessimistic, and said March uh, or later. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that was wrong. The correct answer was January. So congrats to those of you that said that. Which rocket will reach orbit and deploy, deploy a meaningful, as in like an operational payload, uh, not just a mass simulator, for the first? A lot of people said Starship, which... To me, is pretty shocking considering that at the time of this poll last year, Vulcan was literally on the pad, like ready to launch. And they launched, I don't remember what it was, if it was like January 7th or 8th or something. It was very shortly after the new year. And Starship was nowhere near having an orbital mission ready. So uh, Starship, again, was the correct or was the incorrect answer. Vulcan was the correct answer. But luckily, we did have uh, the most people answering that one correctly. So, But 36.9% of you thought Starship would beat Vulcan to deploying something into orbit. Dang, we have some Starship super fans. Um, how many lunar landers will successfully land on the moon in 2024? There are at least four missions currently slated to land on the moon. Um, now, this one gets tricky. And actually, I forgot to actually look up if I was forgetting any. I believe we had only one truly successful and two partially successful am i right there is, is anyone because we had dart partial success we had uh intuitive machines partially successful they both continued to operate while on the moon not in the correct orientation and then uh chonga six was successful so was it three well regardless I, i'm pretty or or do those not count the ones that like landed but not in the correct orientation. Oh, slim, correct, slim, not dart. <laughs> yeah, my bad, slim. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, slim landed, but not fully successfully. I would say three landed. If you're operating in one piece-ish, mostly one piece, I think that counts as landing on the moon. Uh, 
It's between one and three. So kind of two might be the right answer. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I would say one, if you're being very pedantic about like a, a mission completely being a success, but it could also be three. So inconclusive, I guess. Okay, now this one was interesting. I kind of messed up this poll. It sh I should never have a definitive answer only. There should always be like a less than or more than. Um, so for this one, I had, when will Artemis 2 launch? This is pretty funny right now, actually, uh, considering that just in December, I think it was, um, we found out that it's not even going to launch until at least the end of 2026 now. So uh, Artemis 2 obviously did not launch in November 2024, did not launch in December 2024, and it will not launch in 2025. So even already we know that this poll uh, was skewed. I should have said 2025 or later. Uh, which I try to do a better job of doing that kind of thing on this year's poll. So yeah, Artemis 2 did not launch in 2024, will not launch in 2025. So 2025 would be the most correct answer at that time. So um, that's since that was as far as you could get. When will Sierra Nevada launch their Dream Chaser? Um, Q1, Q2, second half of 2024, and not in 2024 would have been the correct answer. They did not get Dream Chaser off the ground uh, in 2024. So we're hoping for this year still. Um, I believe they're targeting May uh, is what they're currently targeting. So that is on this year's poll. Again, find the link to the poll if you'd like to join and get your vote out there. Uh, what's the furthest, um, which by the way, most people thought we were going to see it launch last year. I would have been included on that. I would have definitely been included on that list of people that thought we would see uh, Dream Chaser launch in 2024, which would have been really cool. I'm just, I love space planes. I love I think it's a really cool vehicle. So let's hope that we do see it launch uh, in 2025. What's the furthest milestone we'll see Rocket Lab achieve with their Neutron rocket? So this one, uh, we did see a full skill Archimedes test. We've seen them firing Archimedes up a good amount in 2024, but we did not see a full stage static fire. We did not see a uh, full launch integration, like a wet dress rehearsal or a full stack at all. And we definitely did not see a launch of Neutron. Will we see any of those new milestones this year? Go to the poll and find out. So the correct answer for this one was full scale uh, Archimedes test. That is that is correct. Um, how many orbital launch attempts will we see in 2024 around the world? There were 220 or 222 launch attempts in uh, 2023. Uh, this one you guys nailed again. Actually, the amount of launch attempts, if I remember right uh, correctly, I believe was 263. So yeah, uh, you nailed it. Between 251 and 275, which uh, 136 of those launch, orbital launch attempts were SpaceX, which is yeah, wild. I just can't even, you, that's just crazy that more than half of the orbital launch attempts were from a single company. Wild. Uh, when will Boeing Space fly humans on Starliner? First half of 2024, Q3, Q4, not in 2024. Um, I believe the correct answer here, what was that? Was it Q3? Is that when it, I didn't even, I don't remember. Um, Starliner launch. Not that first one. Um, uh, anyone got an answer for me? I don't remember the exact date. Uh, was it May or June? Okay, yep, first half. Thank you. So the first half was correct there. Um, so that's, yeah, it's first half 2024. Uh, we had a lot of pessimistic people saying it wouldn't fly. And a lot of those pessimists probably wish that it wouldn't have flown now that there's still <laughs> the two crew are still on the ISS. So, uh, yeah, that's the correct answer was first half. Um, maybe they should have waited. So there we go. Thank you guys for all your help with the, the exact, uh, date of launch too. When will Ariane space launch their Ariane six rocket? Q1, Q2, second half, and not in 2024. Uh, I believe it was Q2. I forgot to, it's funny, I was working so hard on the poll, I forgot to do uh, Ariane 6 launch was um, July 9th. So Q2, uh, no, second half. That's just barely in the second half of 2024. So um, that's when that launched. So every, that was the majority of people, 54.9% of people guessed second half. And that was the correct answer. Um, yeah, I did not include, by the way, on the Starliner one, I did not include when will the crew come home <laughs> and will they come home on Starliner? 
I don't think I had that on my bingo card for 2024. That's for sure. Um, when will Polaris program launch the Polaris Dawn, which was, of course, famously the first EVA of a commercial vehicle uh, with a commercial crew. So that was awesome. That was an incredible mission. Uh, Jared Isaacman and his crew, his intrepid crew of explorers uh, going further from uh, from Earth than any mission since the Apollo program. It's It was amazing. Uh, by the way, you can see Jared Isaacman and the entire crew of Players Dawn uh, at this year's Astro Awards. They're doing a full panel um, uh, and a Q&A, which is going to be amazing, along with uh, Charlie Duke, Apollo... Uh, Apollo Lunar uh, Command Mo or Apollo Lunar Lander Pilot. Um, was he <laughs> Apollo 15 or 16? I always forget. Uh, but yeah, he will be there doing a keynote as well. And he's also on a panel about vintage space versus um, vin versus new space. So uh, if you want to come to Astro Awards January 25th and 26th, go to astroawards.live. Come see them and a lot of other awesome panels and the actual awards as well. So the correct answer for Polaris program, by the way, now that we've had a word from our sponsor, uh, is uh, Q3 of 2024. So um, Apollo 16, thank you guys. Um, that was that was a Q3 launch. If I remember right, that was September, which would be Q3, right? September, yep, nine, yep. Correct? Okay. Uh, so yeah, that was, you guys actually nailed that one as, as well, so. Uh, when will Blue Origin launch their new Glenn rocket? Unfortunately, you guys did get this one, um, got this one right too, of not in 2024. We had Q1, Q2, second half, not in 2024, but dang it, it was close. I, li I thought about two weeks ago, I thought there was actually a chance they were going to get it uh, off the ground on December 31st. I'm expecting that to definitely happen um, this month. So yeah, we included a new Glenn poll discussion in the new polls, which included, instead of saying when, it was like, what will we see happen with New Glenn in 2024? Will we see, uh, you know, a booster landing? Will we see a reuse of a booster? Will we not see a successful launch? So, uh, yeah, we, I, I, I expect big things from New Glenn. And it, by the way, if you guys haven't, if you're not on the New Glenn hype train yet, you need to be because uh, definitely watch my tours with uh, at Blue Origin with Jeff Bezos where we go up and see the New Glenn hardware. It is unbelievable. It really is. And, and Jeff did a phenomenal job of um, explaining things and he was nice and friendly and, and it, it made me a lot more excited about the rocket, just seeing all the hardware in person. It's a big vehicle. It's I mean, it's almost the size of Starship. It's closer to the size of Starship than it is Falcon 9. So it's it's massive. I can't wait to see that thing fly. That's going to be very, very fun. How many times will SpaceX launch their Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rocket in 2024? They launched 96 missions in 2023. The correct answer was 136. So literally the top answer was 136 or more. So they beat most of your, and I feel like you guys are pretty optimistic uh, when it comes to SpaceX. By the way, you could you could have answered 96 because I had, oh wait, less than, no, I did that correct. Less than 96. 96 to 120, 121 to 135, and then 136 or more. Or wait, was it 134? Oh, it was 134 though. It was 134. Crap, you're you're right. So uh, it was 134, uh, which would have been yeah the third option. So 31.2 percent of you got that right. It was close. I mean, they were steamrolling at the end here. They were launching so often uh, that I obviously lost track. So um, yeah, so not including. So yeah, this poll specifically is Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, so not Starship launch attempts. Um, so overall uh, missions, they had 138 missions, but only uh, for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, it was 134. So uh, yeah, that was that was a fun one. And it looks like, yeah, and I did add Falcon there. So yeah, thank, so uh, <laughs> Epic Daniel, you can thank Epic Daniel for the Falcon 9 poll. There we go. And we are now. Thank you for the Falcon 9 poll. So that's it for the 2024 poll. But don't forget, guys, uh, to take a look. I just posted this before we went live um, to take a look at the new polls that we have. So uh, find that in the link in the description and fill out the polls. No spoilers yet. I don't want to look at that yet. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these. This is obviously just for fun and to kind of have a gauge on we, I think we did pretty good, honestly. Like most of the time, I think the community was pretty close. Um, I'm not the best poll maker. <laughs> I'll definitely put that out there. I'm not great at making these, but you guys are pretty darn good at answering. Uh, pretty darn good. So 
Uh, yeah, that's really all we're going to do. We, <laughs> we have a lot that we're working on here. Like I said, we are, I'm in near Starbase. I'm at our studio here. We're taking Luna, our van that, uh, I think you guys might be familiar with. We have this production van that powers all the shows. Not, not this particular one. I'm doing this on a laptop, but whenever we do a starship show, it's being powered by the van. We have completely outgrown the van and we're putting it all into a production trailer now. So it's a very large trailer and you can see a few sneak peeks of it uh over on on x um and uh yeah that's it, it's a lot of fun but it's a lot of work we have to have it done by starship launch 7 so the month of january for me a lot of people are asking where's the apollo video i get it <laughs> uh trust me <laughs> that is completely on hold right now it won't be i probably won't even have a, t a chance to touch it in january because we have the, tr the trailer needs to be done by january 10th the, uh, then we have another thing on January 14th that I still don't know if I can publicly talk about yet. Um, and then we have the Astro Awards January 25th and 26th. Um, so hopefully you guys, hopefully we'll see some of you guys at Astro Awards in 24 days. Yikes. Um, wait, why does it say, it looks like it says 88 hours, 24 days, 88 hours. That, that don't sound right. Uh, yeah, hopefully we see you guys at Astro Awards, astroawards.live. Uh, we'll, we'll get the final lineup going here, uh, this week, which includes, like I said, a lot of amazing people, um, including even like Jack Byer, um, a lot of awesome people. So hopefully we see you guys there. Astro Awards dot live January 25th and 26th in Austin, Texas. Hopefully we'll see you guys there. So, uh, hopefully I did a better job on this year's poll than, than last year's poll. I don't think I did a terrible job last year, but I can always do better. So, uh, it's all, again, all just for fun, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, you guys are amazing and, uh, yeah, wish us, wish me luck. January is like the most, uh, stressful month I've had since Artemis when we did the van going between, uh, Artemis launch one and we were also Firefly's live stream. This is feeling very similar to that. We have a very tight deadline and a lot of travel logistics with a team of six people having to go back and forth between California and Texas and build a trailer and then also plan the Astro Awards. It's a lot. So uh, wish me luck. I love you guys. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for joining me for this fun little stream. And I hope you guys have a fantastic 2025. Uh, yeah. Cheers, everybody. That's going to do it for me. I'm Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut, bringing space on Earth for everyday people. Goodbye, everybody.